Hello, I am Professor Stephen Abbott and in this series I will be using HSPIP to illustrate some of the power of Hansen solubility parameters. In this clip we will look at how to estimate the Hansen solubility parameters for molecules where no measured values are available. We've already discussed what the HSP of a molecule means and we've said that for solvents like these it's possible to get the values via thermodynamic measurements. We've also seen that it's possible to measure the HSP of a polymer or indeed a nanoparticle or anything else. But suppose you cannot find the thermodynamics, suppose you can't do the measurement and you need an estimate of the HSP. Well in HSPIP we have a tool for doing that. It's called the YMB system, Yamamoto Molecular Breaking, after my colleague Dr. Hiroshi Yamamoto, who created the scheme. And basically, all you do is you type in a SMILES string, CCO, two carbons and an oxygen, that means ethanol, hit return or press the calculate button, and it says there's one ethyl group, one OH group, and it estimates from that that the HSP of 15.6, 9.3 and 17.2. It then looks in its database to see whether it actually has something like this, and it finds that the real ethanol is 15.8, 8.8, and 19.4. So it's a bit low on the DH, but this is only an estimation scheme. You also get many other estimated parameters, melting point, boiling point, refractive index, density, molar volume, molecular weight, ovality, the Antoine constants, vapor pressures, relative evaporation rate. It's a very powerful estimation tool. But suppose you don't have the smiles. I happen to know the smiles of ethanol as CCO. Suppose I wanted paracetamol and I don't know the smiles. Well, what I do is go to ChemSpider, which is a free online database. I typed paracetamol into the search engine and up came paracetamol. And if you look here, you see it's got smiles and inches. I click on that. I have to scroll up a little bit. Screen capture is a bit small. And I press copy and it copies the smile string from there. I go back to HSBIP, I go here, I do Control v to paste, so there's the smiles for paracetamol. I click Calculate and it estimates 20, 13, 14.3. In the database it's got 18, 10.5, 13, so it's quite a big difference in the DDs. It's interesting to know which is correct. You can also do it from mole files, from 3D files. Capsaicin, the molecule which gives chili its hotness. There it is in 3D, and there's its estimated HSP. Often you want to calculate the HSP of a large list of chemicals, and you can do that via file convert. You have a little text file, I've got a small one here, 3apis.txt, which is just name and smiles. Double click on it, I've done this before, but I say it's okay to overwrite. And it's just converted the three items I had in that list, and it's stored them as a .hsd file, which is the standard HSPIP file. So I just go to there, and I open it, file, open, three APIs, and there's the estimated HSPs of aspirin, ibuprofen, and paracetamol. So we have a powerful general technique for estimating properties automatically. There are other methods available, the Stefanis Panayutu, Van Krevelin, Hoy. You can do it via thermodynamic numbers. And this same form also has ways of doing things with polymers, health and safety, azeotropes, vapor pressures, solubility, miscibility and surfactants.